Good morning. Uh, welcome to the lakes of Lake Bonnie. Um, Travelled here last night, slept in the car, which was god awful. It's only a small car, um, but we managed to get some sleep. And you know, in the words of uh, uh, Gavin Hardcastle, you know, I've got a face like a uh, wombat's backside, something like that. Simple. Get to the edge of this uh, uh, beautiful lake, plonk your camera down, uh, pop it on a tripod and there will be no doubt a scene in front of you. Uh, the difficulty of this shot really is gaining focus and you can just about see on the right hand side that there's a silhouette there of one of those tree branches. So I'll focus on that, just get that up. There you go, now we're focused and the focus is locked. I can adjust the uh, composition as needed, but at the moment I think that's, that's fine. I don't know whether I'm going to keep this little stump that's on the right hand side um, or not yet. It balances uh, the little clump of trees on the left, but we're just going to go for this, uh, go for this exposure at, as, at right now. So I'm just going to, normally I can get an eight minute exposure, but we might go for a four minute exposure. So here we go. I'll tell you about this little lake in a moment. Okay, so while that's cooking away and I've got my Halloween mask on, um, I can tell you about this little area here. Where we're standing now was actually under about three or four foot of water. Uh, the lake had expanded by well, easily 100, 150 meters. And so, and most of it was closed. And so, um, sat back and uh, decided that we, you know, we'd given it enough time for the water to subside and thought we'd come back and treat ourselves to some uh, trees in water. So that's where we are today. So uh, we're going to pop along now and just see um, if there's a shot to be had there. So my list of uh, amateur disasters continues. We'll focus on the near part of this jetty, making sure that we have the least amount of polarisation. 60 seconds, let's give that a go. Do the uh, bog standard straight down the jetty image. And you can see that there's hardly any cloud at all here today, so um, generally that means we've got to be a little quicker. There we go, and uh, that's actually catching a nice little piece of light there and I'm just gonna come in a touch. I don't want that tree on the right. It's just and there's not a lot of interest in that sky so 
I'm happy to lose some of that. Rafi, Rafi, shh, please. He's fighting with a... He's fighting with a stone at the moment. Look at that face. Filthy face. Playing with a stone in the mud. But that's what I've got to deal with. This little ragamuffin has got to come back in the car with me. Look at the state of him. Mmm. Looks happy with himself though. Let's make sure that we are central. Slightly off. There we go. And let's make sure we can focus. Now we may need to focus stack this. We are at F16, so I'm just going to focus on this near part of the jetty. Just like that. And once again, let's just go for 60 seconds at F16. And I'll probably have to take, I'll probably have to take about three shots. Here. Those trees there with this stump in the centre leading the way. Problem is, is that we need to have a certain amount of height to get some clearance. As well. Um, but that's I'm fully extended so I don't often like to use uh, the central column um, but in this case I'll probably just take the chance and just raise it up a few inches just to gain a little bit more height just to have that separation between the foreground rock uh, stump and the rest of the and the and, and those trees. I may need, I'll need to clone the odd straggly branch in on the left hand side. But that looks okay. Uh, again, because we're so close, I'll probably have to focus that. Hand corner, I may need to crop that out. It will be blown and massively so. So, I'll throw on three stop just to pull that back. Thank you, Rafi. I think you just let's try that once again. One second. That's better. And then we can focus that. So focus on the stump. And focus on the trees. Do them both for a second and then I'll do a longer image.
Again, we've got to be careful of these, uh, this histogram. So at the moment we're at, at around about a second. I'll probably drop that slightly to catch that sun. In fact, I might leave it at a second. But just to see if we can get a sun star. Go all the way up to F22 at a second. I don't think we're going to get it, but we'll try. Um, this, we've got the sun. I really want to smooth out that water now. Um, so I'll probably take out the three stop and pop in the uh, six stop. There's a six stop going in. should give us a touch more leeway it will blow out the uh, the Sun but we've caught that we've captured that I just want to smooth out those ripples that Rafi is making um, a little more so we're going for eight seconds at f16 so we may put on a 10 stop Just smooth it out. This is going to be the last shot of the day, I think. And it's going to be it's probably a 16 by 9. I'll paint back in the sun because we are going to to blow it. And plus, a longer exposure, the sun's rising, so it will it will be moving. So really, it's about the water that we want to capture here. Slide that in, and then we should be able to bump that up to around about uh, it's four stops more. So that's uh, 16 32 minute, two minutes. There you go, that'll, that'll definitely give us smooth water. Thank you, thank you very much for joining us uh, here at Lake Bonnie. Um, Rafi's had an absolute ball. Um, I've enjoyed the photography. It's been a bit, bit of a challenge with with um, zero cloud. Uh, we knew it would be. Uh, we've got some nice twilight glow, um, very red, very dark. So fingers crossed they've worked out. I always enjoy um, a, a good jetty and being allowed to photograph a private one is just the icing on the cake. Um, so uh, the the owner and the tenant have said that I can pop down here at any time. So for that, I'm very, very grateful. Thank you very much, Nathan and Dylan. And uh, yes, all it leaves me to say is um, thank you for joining me. If you do get the opportunity and you've not been here before, please like and subscribe. Um, uh, but regardless, Please look after yourself, look after your loved ones, and until next time, see ya.